Fingers on the buzzers, teams. It is uh, President Trump to be Mr. Trump. Um, <laughs> once again, every time he does something, it just makes things worse for himself. They're now sort of relieved that he's going abroad for a couple of weeks just to sort of take the pressure off him being a fucking idiot. <laughs> What do you think, Giles? Uh, well, first, I loved him. I thought the idea... What did you love about him? I loved the idea that Donald Duck and Woody Don't tell me you liked his Trump. manifesto, you know, did you? <laughs> Broadbrush. I like... Well, he was Broadbrush, and he got in, didn't he? If, as a result of his presidency, the world does indeed end, won't it be marvellous to think it happened in our time? <laughs> well, are they, are they even giving him intelligence briefings anymore, or oh, are they just reading out episodes of Homeland or something? <laughs> <laughs> By all accounts, he has a very short attention span. So in each paragraph, they actually put his name in order to arrest his eye. Yeah. So that it's... In every paragraph of the briefing, they say, and Mr Trump, or President Trump. He goes, oh, what are they saying about me now? So he's sort of following <laughs> what they're saying. He seems to be obsessed with himself. Like and, a budgety guard pecking a mirror. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he might change what the word presidential means. Like, in a few years, yeah. you'll be going, oh, my uncle fell over and banged his head on a curb. He's been rendered completely presidential. <laughs> He dismissed the head of the FBI this week. Uh, Comey, James Comey? Mr Comey was dismissed. Comey over. Because he was... <laughs> Investigating his connections with Russia. And now there's an inquiry. Who's been put in charge of the inquiry? They've got a special prosecutor. Uh, a former yeah. head yeah, former of the FBI. FBI. And then when you open up that special Zuna. prosecutor, there'll be another little special prosecutor. <laughs> and open up there'll be another little <laughs> prosecutor. There'll eventually be a little bloke saying, did you do it? <laughs> He's Robert Miller, who was the former FBI director. Yes. James Comey's done something to get his revenge on Trump. Any idea he has what produced else? his memo. Oh, he yes, kept he a memorandum. Write, didn't he? Yes. yes. After Trump tweeted that he had kept, or suggested he might have kept a recording of the dinner that took place in February, Comey then came back to say, well, I kept a memorandum. And he said, will you drop the Russian stuff? So basically he accused him of literally trying to interfere in the process of justice. And the Americans don't like that very much. So it is all going wrong. Yeah. And then the best bit was Putin, who was like, oh, if you want the transcript, we've got one. <laughs> <laughs> Two weaks before this leaked memo was written, what had Trump asked James Comey to do to dinner? Was it stop Just investigating? Just drop, drop the investigation. Yeah. He asked Comey yeah. to make a pledge of personal loyalty to him. <laughs> oh. Like an actual oh. mafia boss. <laughs> <laughs> Trump has denied this and threatened Comey in a tweet which said... James Comey better hope there are no tapes of our conversations before he starts leaking to the press. <laughs> How did Trump's administration respond to Comey's leak? With confusion. <laughs> With incredible confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, according to online news website Daily Beasts, uh, one official said, I felt like running down the hallway <laughs> with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> While another senior official said, I don't see how Trump isn't completely <laughs> fucked. <laughs> What else did Donald Trump do this week? He decided, literally in the middle of a meeting with the Russian foreign minister, that he would uh, meet, seen some stuff that had been given to him by some people, came from the Israelis, apparently. He just passed it on. That's to the Russians. And then he goes out and says, why do people accuse me of being too close to the Russians? I don't know, Donald, I can't imagine. Trump defended his actions by making this speech. Look at the way I've been treated lately. <laughs> Especially by the media. No politician in history, and I say this with great surety, has been treated <laughs> worse or more unfairly. You can't let them get you down. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. When he says no one's been treated this badly, does he mean psychiatrically? <laughs> Did he use the word surety? Yes. yes. Great, great, surety. great surety. It is terrifying, isn't it? I thought he was brilliant a minute ago. You thought he was brilliant, was it? You said that, John. I never said he was brilliant. I never said he was brilliant. I think the man is totally terrifying. I thought it was amusing, because I'm a little bit of an anarchist. I thought... <laughs> I, I, I was quite amused by the idea of the world ending, but now to end at the hands of this fool would be ghastly. <laughs> You've no, revised I, your opinion. I've revised my opinion. <laughs> so if you were recruiting a spy, Trump would be underneath Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I wouldn't believe any conspiracy theory at all. I think he is exactly what he is revealing. You just told us to North Korea had hacked the NHS. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no, that doesn't mean to change that subject. <laughs> that, is did, that is fact. Please, please be quiet. Uh, How did... 
He also... How did Sack... Excuse me. No. He also... No. <laughs> he also... Giles. <laughs> Giles, when people hear your name, they often think jumpers. Ah. But I'm sure people who meet you must take their lives in other ways as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is the news that Donald Trump is now at war with intelligence in two ways. <laughs> Mr Trump met with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. At the end of the meeting, he said he had to get back to running the country, but thanked Trump for coming along. <laughs> Donald Trump said recently that every time he picks a phone up, he feels like someone is listening. That's what a phone is, Donald. <laughs> Donald Trump is increasingly unpopular with the CIA, where his Secret Service codename is JFK2.